Hello and welcome to the Spiritual Centre. My name's Sonia. I'm going to be doing your reading for Virgo for June 2017. Um, I've just pulled a card from the Patrick Gamble Psychic Artist cards and the card I've pulled is Mystery. Now what this card means is um, you could be feeling a bit lost at the moment. You... It's a, it's a card for our future and it's um, sometimes when things are dark and we feel low, <coughs> we don't see a way forward. There is always a way forward. There is always a new day. This is about us knowing that tomorrow something bright is going to happen. This is about us overcoming any negative and turning it into positive. This is about us looking at the mystery of life. Okay. The cards that I'm using for the reading today are the Sharma Caselli Tarot Pack. Okay. As I'm connecting, I... For Virgos, I don't see too much going on with relationships at the beginning of the month. Um, I don't think you see major things happening around relationships. I sense that the Virgos could be bossy with their friends and family. Um, Work-wise, I think you will have a lot of energy with regard to work. I think that... Um, where you put your energy is going to be important this month. Where you put your focus. Um, there could be opportunities with regard to work as well. Okay, so what's the card around you? Which is the Ten of Cups. So where I said I didn't see anything going on too much with relationships with regard to change, we've got the Ten of Cups, which is the perfect family union. You've got the children, the couple and, and that. So this is about spending time in with your family. This is about you spending time, maybe finding new hobbies as well, um, finding something that you can all do together. Okay, so what's stopping you move forward? Uh-huh. So although you might feel that, that although that the, the family is all there, you're at this precise moment feeling that there's more out there there's something else out there the eight of cups is somebody is surrounded with love but who's still looking out there to look for, to say to themselves i need to turn my back on this and i need to climb that mountain i need to do something for me so this is about you looking for your own purpose and your life direction so what's led up to this it's the King of Pentacles. And the King of Pentacles is is somebody who's worked so very, 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 very hard. So maybe there's been too much work and not enough play. Because he is master of all that he has achieved. So it's reaping what we sow as well. So this is a time to be happy with what you've achieved in life. If you look at what you've achieved, it's it doesn't matter what we do or where we go. Everything is an achievement. Every day there is an achievement of some sort to look for. Okay, so let's see what's going on in the subconscious. In the subconscious, we have the lovers. Now, this lover's card depicts a man making a choice between two women. Other tarot decks, you have just the couple. So perhaps, as I've used this deck today, there is a choice you need to make with regard to who you want to be with, who you want to spend your life with. Obviously not all is happy because we've got the Eight of Cups of where you want to, there's more out there for you. If you are in a relationship and you're happy, I always consider the Lover's Card to be a blessing from spirit. You've got Cupid's arrow up here. And it's a blessing from spirit that you are together.
And the higher conscious, we have the high priestess, the keeper of secrets. With her, everything is either black or white. There is no middle ground. She is naturally clairvoyant. So maybe this is about you looking for your spiritual self, looking to spirit to guide you um, on your way forward this month, especially around your relationship issues. Okay, so let's see what the month has for you. Okay, so the Nine of Wands. Now, all the Wands are, are work-related cards. And this is someone who has laid down so many, has worked so hard. It, it goes alongside the King of Pentacles. It's about having the ideas, planting the seeds and reaping the benefit of all those seeds. But now it's come to the end of completion and in the card we also have I, I say it's the salamander so this is about setting down new beginnings new something new I said there'd be a lot of new ideas around work and um, new excitement with work and I feel that this is where your life purpose is going to kick in and you're thinking there's more out you. There's, there, there is, there is, there is something that you have a passion to do. Okay, so okay, so your way forward is the nine of swords. Now this is what you need to be careful of. The nine of swords. All the swords are on the walls. She's sitting up in bed, holding her head in her hands, and she's not getting any sleep. This is where you need to be really careful because these worries are not real. These worries are all in the mind. And if we give all our energy to our worries, we manifest more. So this is about you changing your focus and not thinking about those sort of things. What do others see? Others see the King of Swords, somebody who's very strong-minded and strong-willed. The King of Swords can cut through anything. There's, he's a very stubborn man. So perhaps there's a very stubborn man around you. Or perhaps you're the one who's very stubborn. Maybe you need to mellow a little bit. Okay, in your fierce position is the Ten of Wands. And where the Nine of Wands is, you reap in what you sow. 10 is where it just gets to be too much. So you're worried that you're going to take on more than you can handle. So perhaps with this job or this new hobby or whatever. This is about not taking on more than you can deal with. It's about retraining your focus onto the things that you really want as well. Okay, before I turn the final outcome card, I always like to say that we have free will and we can make different choices throughout the month that will change the outcome of the cards. Um, let's see what it is. So it's the Page of Cups. Now all the cups are love cards. The Page of Cups is somebody who is immature um, in the cup, he has the salmon. Now the salmon will swim upstream. The salmon will leave home and go off upstream to find what their heart desires, and then they'll they'll come back. They always come back. So maybe this is about you you getting out there. Maybe this is about you searching for that 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 life purpose that that true relationship um june has the potential to be very good for you it's going to open new opportunities there are going to be new doors that open for you so maybe the time has come for you to swim off out there and find them
Okay, I'm just going to pull one more card for you, which is one of the Doreen Virtue Healing Angel cards. See if we can get a little bit more guidance to finish the reading. And I've pulled Abundance. It's a beautiful card. And what I said about reaping what we sow, the card of abundance is around you for the whole of June. So things are looking good for you. Just need to be a little more focused on where you put your energy and your ideas. And also not to worry about things needlessly everything's going to work out just as it should but thank you for listening to the reading i hope you enjoyed it i hope it resonated with some of you if you do get time please comment and let me know and also subscribe to my channel there is a link at the bottom of the video um, to my website if you would like a private reading i hope you all have a fabulous month and thank you for listening